What has this week been like for you and coming from the Jets practice squad to now being here with the Saints? Yeah, it's uh, it's been a whirlwind for sure. Um, you know, on uh, what day was that? Thursday. I was about two hours away from getting on the team bus to head over to London, and uh, instead of getting on a plane to London, I got a plane. I got on a plane to here. So uh, I'm super excited to be here. Um, this is an incredible opportunity. Um, this is the opportunity I was uh, was hoping for once I um, came back. So I'm really excited about it. Yeah, you came back from an injury at the, during the season last year. So yep. what's been the process getting back on the field? Yeah, a lot of working out. You know, I, when, I, when I got hurt, I wasn't sure. I, you know, I was contemplating if I was going to retire or not. Um, I wanted to heal up the best I could, um, treat it like I was coming back because it's the best way to heal. Um, and uh, but I, my knee's been feeling great. Uh, and then yeah, you know it uh, didn't have the the offers I was looking for prior to camp. And then once season started, I was my knee felt really good and I was ready to roll. So um, now we're here. What kind of benefit is it that you're familiar with the coaches here in the system? Uh, it's huge. Um, you know, I was with uh, JB for two years, so I had the old line that, that's an easy s slide in with call wise, and, and then I was, uh, you know, with uh, Coach Kubiak and his dad and, and Rico and, and uh, Clancy and all those guys back in Denver when I was a when I was a rookie actually. So I've been having to pull deep from the memory bank on a couple of things. Luckily, with a lot of the JB stuff, it's still pretty fresh. So um, yeah, you know the. The transition would be much harder if I didn't have that familiarity, and um, like a, that makes it a uh, uh, lot easier. And um, I really enjoyed my time getting back with you know some of the, my the, my favorite coaches I've been with my uh, my NFL career. What's the chemistry like so far with the rest of the line and then Derek Carr? Yeah, it's it's been really good. Um, you know, it's it's this is a a really good offensive line room. Um, whether they're great players or uh, great personalities, um, it's an, been an easy room. They've been welcomed me with open arms, and then uh, uh, Derek's been awesome too. You know, it's um, for him. I think it's just kind of been, you know, I just kind of, I slid in there, and uh, he made me feel like I've been there forever. So, um, any little question I have, <coughs> he helps me out on, and um, yeah, he's he's made the transition even easier. Like I said, it's it's been a whirlwind, but uh, the people here. Um, have been awesome and made made my transition really easy. I feel like I've been here for a while and it's been less than 24 hours. So, so you feel comfortable with the playbook? Yep. Yeah. I've uh, I've you know I've been in a West Coast system for like seven of my nine years. Um, so it's you know obviously little terminology is different here and there between the different West Coast trees and everything, but. Um, you know, for the most part, uh, it's been an easy transition. There's definitely some vocabulary I got to learn, but uh, um, you know, the uh, it's like old school learning vocab. You just do like the the flashcards. So that's all. That's the that's what I'll be doing tonight is, is some flashcards. So um, in terms of your knee injury, like, was it were you contemplating retirement because like it was that severe, or just because like you didn't know? No, I, d I didn't know what I was going to come back into. Um, you know, I was, I'm 31 with two pretty, uh, you know, p pretty major injuries to the same knee. Um, on paper, that doesn't look very good to a front office, you know. So, um, and, and I wanted to see how the year played out. Um, I, I've really enjoyed my time in the NFL, but um, if I didn't have the right opportunity, I wasn't going wasn't gonna to take it. So, um, but like I said, this is a perfect opportunity. I'm excited to be here. The Chiefs have a top 10 run defense. How much of that is just kind of the habit that like Chris Jones can create? Yeah, Chris Jones is a special player. Um, throughout my career, I've played him uh, a lot, and he's um, a, a heck of a player. Obviously, one of the one of the the best D tackles in the league right now. So they're really good defense, whether it's scheme or players. Um, so it's definitely going to be a challenge, but. Uh, the, after my 24 hours here, uh, everybody has looked really crisp, really clean. Uh, practice has been going really, really well, so I'm excited for it. What makes him most dangerous? Uh, you know, he's he's so dynamic. For a guy to be that big and that quick, um, he has that natural ability that I think all great D linemen have of feeling. You know, if you could only be tilted or leaning just one way, just the, you know, half a pound of pressure, but he feels that and he takes advantage of it, um, just like all really, really good defensive linemen do. And um, so, yeah, he's, he's, he's got it all. I just wanted to go back to something you said. Oh, you already packed for London? Or is that? Oh, yeah. I, uh, my bags were packed for London. I was uh, putting on my travel suit when I got the call. It was about two hours away from getting on the bus. And uh, so I had to run back and repack and change my plane ticket. and. 
yeah, it was a it was a hectic uh, hectic couple hours there for sure. I was trying to make the the last flight out of Newark to New Orleans, and uh, I was up against some time, but uh, I made it, and uh, like I said, happy to be here. So, Did, uh, like in that sort of situation, like. Do you process like, wow, this is my opportunity? Like, are you excited or is it just kind of like focusing? Yeah, obvi there's obviously, the, you know, I think I probably went through the whole range of emotions, um, the most being excitement. Um, but, you know, it was, I didn't have time to think until I got to the airport and then I could get to the airport, I could take a breath and kind of think about everything. And it uh, definitely kind of hit me as I was, was flying out of New York and, um, you know what how special this opportunity is and how lucky I am to, to be here and you had like no inkling that like the same turn just was before, like... um, when I was on on the couch as they say um, a lot of, pretty much all the the West Coast teams had like called to be like hey are you staying in shape in case a situation like what happened here happened um, so I had you know with my f um, familiarity with uh, JB and everything else I I had an idea if Worst came to worst, I would, I could get a call. Um, obviously, the, there's no guarantees on that, and it's just nice to know that people still remembered me, you know. But um, other than other than being a, a memory in the front office, that's all that's all that is. So, um, no, like I said, it was it was surprising and exciting, and yeah, all the emotions. So, awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah.